man. What the, this thing's gonna fly by here any second now. Oh my god, this car is landing any second. And Ibs don't know what it is. Reza was here, he didn't know what it Where's was. Where's he going? Huh? Where's he going? Get some fish and chips. Yeah, someone, someone hit me with good finance deals, yeah? 100 pound a month. And also, do my insurance and fill my car up. Huh? Why are you being very impatient as well? I'm like, I don't know. Bruv, look at the whip, do you see three? Three! Three! <laughs> oh mate, the wing is fucking mad! I think it's bad to take into the gap. I know, yeah. Oh mate, it's my new car, bruv! Company <laughs> car! Yeah, go forward a bit. It's one. This is a bit mashed up here, but look. Oh, bro, come on, I said nothing inside. Who put the stuff inside? Uh, it's heavy stuff inside. No, I had nothing inside. I have in uh, my truck. Who put this inside here? You or the garage? Uh, some, uh, me, some garage. You didn't get the message? Why would you put this stuff inside the car, man? Me, I put just this one. My, my one requirement was, don't put nothing in the car. Everything is clean. All the car was new, don't put nothing in the car. Hey, it's not an RSO, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Got a quite negative one there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but he spun it. He did it on the uh look at that brand new wheels man! Yeah. Brand new wheels man! From this angle here, it's, it's a brand new car. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you do that? Yeah. Oh, so stupid. Hey, weird, man. Is that not standard procedure? Hey, who, who, whoever this tow company is, yeah? You don't rate you. Hey, yeah. I'm joking. Official oh. straight up thoughts. Nice What's bad. better? Nice 12 rest with this. That's a beast. Where is it? Where is <laughs> it? Like chucking this around. I reckon this is going to be the one, you know. The lights are turned on and like someone's like recording there, like driving. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What you're saying, I wanted a, a 991 GT3 RS. Yeah. Like, it's a green. Yeah, you got this green. So, oh, 901's that one there. So I wanted one of them, a 3 RS in like a lime green. Quick recap for those who don't know, we've been building Oz's GT2RS downstairs. It's almost a completion now. There's been a delay on parts, which is an absolute nightmare, but we're getting there. I think that both cars should be completed at the same time together. We're waiting for parts, and the parts are delayed, and that's what's caused a massive problem. But anyway, we're gonna get there. This bonnet. Made out of carbon fiber. I think the retail was like 15 grand for a bonnet. So on the crash, this bonnet was like it, it folded. This bonnet went up that and a massive gap in here. And then they released the catch from it and it goes, don't just say 15 grand, bro. Choo -choo! 15. Yo, look at that. Can you see that? Are you getting it? Uh, That's yeah. what happened to bonnet. Lucky fucker. And then and then it just went back to position. Went back to position, bro. So um let's just open up here. So comments down below what colour we go in. What colour? Satin black. Satin PPF on that colour. No Mrs. Detailing, but all your PPF and detailing and uh, wrapping needs. Give your boy a call. Should I go lime green? Like bright lime green. Ew. I what's love it. it. What's your comment down below, yeah. Wait, what car have you ever seen that you pop the engine and a flap opens? To do your oil top up and coolant top up. That is not an engine cover. Oh damn, this is a four litre. Yeah. What was a three eight? <laughs> What was Ash thinking, even his key and his body? The 
guy's got to hit him on the bed here. Really? This. This one here. Oh, Get the uh, tilt and slide, not this truck. I paid for that. And now I've got to pay to repair this one, paid to repair that side, repair whatever you've messed up inside there. It was just a, a humble request to just push it off that one. You're the shit out of me. Is that man? Yeah. Who wants a try? So London State Meal is going to be fucking Christmas. We're going to snow the All the air, yeah, flows up, brother, and around up the car. Got two of these fancies. Jeez. And then what's this? Well, I don't know. That does something. Look at this. The seat's fucking. So the, um, oh, we've got the racing harness as well, just so you know. Oh, FYI. Pull all the stuff out, Oz. Yo, pull all the stuff out. Yeah. Anyway, so the seat's busted. Look at that. Carbon back seats, and that's gone through it. So we'll have to repair that. I don't know what to say about that, to be honest. Who puts this yet on carbon fibre interior? But look at this. It's scratched the fuck out of it. They're all perfect. Hell like yeah, it's like 10 grand's worth. Yeah. <laughs> Quite <laughs> <laughs> a little crack there in the bottom uh, thing of it, but generally, and then you think it'd be out of position, but then it's not because. Mate, we don't get floor mats on. We've got two sets with this one. It's not our rest, though, is it? <gasps> oh. Yeah, no, it's the peasant spec one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mate, I could drive this around. Uh, all mate, oh, with all right. paddles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, look what it does! See? Oh, it's your car don't do that. Yeah. Oh, look, it wants to start! Oh, oh it wants to, but can't. <coughs> look, we've got a busted window there. Annoying. But then what's worse, we've got this rear window broken, look. So what's happened? Ibs, you're missing it! The thing's gone, and it's actually pushed this tape down. It's pushed this back, so this is obviously hit something, pushed it back, and that's gone boom! And it should smash that down. Oh, and then, and then, and then, if you look from here... Yeah, man, it's hey, look at the lights, man. Look at the boot level on it. Oh, I turn off. Oh no, hold on. Jeez! Come on. So, uh. Oh! Is this an operational spoiler? Oh, that's the active one, isn't it? Is it? No. It's a. Bro, it's got a cage in it! Look at it! <laughs> Yo, you know what? Um, that that really spoiler thing, yeah, we'll sort it out after. <laughs> hey, hey, the first one I've seen, and we own it. <laughs> yeah, get on my level, Mush. In it. It's the nemesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a that GoPro on it. Oh, double plate set. We'll keep that covered for now. Basic, basic beach. No, this this works in this one. Adventures of Ibs. Oh God. Put it on. Mate, mate. Thanks, it's fine, man. Oh, yeah, for the dumb, man. You want a drink? Uh, no, no, no. Grab water. No, no. Sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something? No, 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 thank you. Yeah, right, come on. I don't think I need to somewhere, right? Save your money. Save 10 grand. Save your money left, right, and centre, bro. Money is money, brother. Money. Hey, look at that. Man. Man.
So the first question I'm getting is, how do we get the GT3 in our possession at Nemesis? Short answer, someone slid in the DMs. Long answer is, we buy exotic savage cars. Here, there and everywhere. If there's a car smashed, an exotic one, Porsche, Ferrari, Bentley, Lambo, we know about it. Uh, DMs are always flooded with, with people wanting to sell cars and bits and bobs. So we handpick the, the, the special ones. The, the creme de la creme, let's call it. Someone slid in the DMs and said, it's pretty vague actually, I think to start with. He pinged across some pictures and I was like, that's the one. And the picture was a brand new Nardo Grey GT3, smashed on the Nürburgring, looking sorry for itself. And I was like, nah, this guy's just pulling my leg. Fucking fly. Looking sorry for itself. And I'm thinking, yo, this can't be real. But the guy, because the guy's been a bit, a bit vague about it. No, not a vague, I think, he, I think he went that gassed. Yeah, yeah. Compared to how gassed I was. Yeah. He, he was doing both of us a favor and he knew the guy who crashed it. He told the guy who crashed it, I've got someone who'll buy it. Honestly, we've had bigger and better cars offered to us than that. And we nice. bought bigger and better cars and we've fixed and sold and still got on our fleet bigger and better cars. But it's always nice to have a, a, you know, a brand new GT3. Porsche Racing Specialist. That's actually the company that had track prepared this car. So the cars had like different top mounts, it's all been set up, race spec and everything else. The guy bought it for the sole intention of tracking it. Tree, when you spec it, it's only another seven grand. So if you just spec it from factory, seven grand more, I wouldn't have paid any more for the car, but I would have had the slouch on it. <laughs> now I've got to pay 10 to 15 grand for a set of brakes, but um, I'll come across them, I'm sure I will. Yo, hit me up if you've got any ceramics for a 992 GT3. Drop in the DMs. Come on. So another thing, as soon as I get back to the workshop, everyone who sees a car, the first thing they always ask, how did it crash? And honestly, 99% of the time, I have no idea. But on this one, we were having a chat with him, and he did explain that he actually bought the car, spec'd it for like track use. His sole intention was for, uh, was for track use. He's actually got some stickers on there that's had like all the sound, test passed and all this and that for like whatever track he's going to be on. Um, he's had all the suspension modified for track use and this and that and the spoiler set for track use. Full track car. And we met with a guy and he was telling us a story and he literally took it to the Nürburgring, did half a lap and spun out. And we're like, bruv, like, can't you drive? <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't his fault because the Nürburgring apparently is quite big. So he said when we left it was the first half of the track was dry and then went around the corner and it was just pissing it down. So obviously went around the bend, lost it, worked out well for me, not so well for him. He lost a GT3 and I got one. <laughs>